In this video, we are going to understand a 220 volt AC electronic fan regulator circuit that works using a simple push button. Every time we press the button, the fan speed changes step by step. One press moves the fan from off to low speed, then medium, then high, then full speed, and after that it repeats again from off. So instead of a rotating knob, we control everything using one push button, but in a very clean and controlled way. Now let us understand the working of the circuit diagram which is shown on your screens. Starting from the input side, on the extreme left, we have a normal mechanical push button. The problem with mechanical buttons is bouncing. When we press once, the contacts shake for a short time, and instead of one pulse, multiple unwanted pulses are generated. Since the CD4017 counter IC is very fast, if we feed these noisy pulses directly, the fan speed will jump randomly and skip steps. To avoid this, we use an RC debounce network. Here we have resistors like 10K and 100K, capacitors like 1 microfarad, 0.1 microfarad, and also a 47 microfarad capacitor at the supply line. When we press the button, the voltage at pin 14 of the CD4017 does not rise suddenly. It rises slowly and smoothly. This RC delay absorbs all the mechanical noise and allows only one clean rising edge to pass. So now, one button press means exactly one clean pulse and one proper count. Next comes the 4017 decade counter stage. Pin 14 of the 4017 receives the clock pulse from the push button network. Every valid pulse moves the output one step forward. We can use outputs Q0 to Q9, depending on how many speed steps we want. Pin 15 is connected in such a way that after the last step, the counter resets back to Q0. Each output of the 4017 represents one fixed fan speed. So with this setup, we get off, then low, then medium, then high, then maximum speed. Now let us move to the diode and resistor network. Each output of the 4017 passes through a 1N4148 diode for isolation and then through a resistor. These resistors are selected as 10 ohm, 33 ohm, 100 ohm, 220 ohm, 470 ohm, 1K, 2.2K, 4.7K, 5.6K, and 6.8K. Only the active output supplies voltage, all other outputs are blocked by the diodes. These resistor values, with reference to the fixed 1K ground resistor forms a voltage divider and decide how much control voltage reaches pin 5 of the 7555 IC. This behaves like a step-by-step -step voltage selector. Lower resistor means higher control voltage and higher fan speed. Higher resistor means lower control voltage and lower fan speed. Now comes the IC7555 PWM generator. This IC is configured in Astable PWM mode. Pins 2 and 6 are tied together, which is standard for a 555 Astable circuit. The 47K and 4.7K resistors define the basic timing. Pin 5 receives the stepped control voltage from the 4017 resistor ladder. A 0.1 microfarad capacitor at pin 5 keeps everything stable and prevents jitter. Here, the frequency remains almost constant, but the duty cycle changes depending on which 4017 output is active. Because of this, the fan speed changes smoothly but in fixed steps. Next is the MOSFET gate drive and filtering stage. The PWM output from pin 3 of the 7555 goes through a 10 ohm resistor to the MOSFET gate. This slightly slows the edge and reduces noise. A 100 nanofarad capacitor filters sharp spikes, and a 10K resistor from gate to ground ensures the MOSFET stays off during startup. This prevents false triggering, gate ringing, and EMI problems. Now comes the power stage using the IRF840 MOSFET. Here is an important point. The AC fan supply is first bridge rectified using 41N5408 diodes. The MOSFET switches the DC side, not the AC directly. MOSFETs work best with DC, so this avoids triac commutation problems and instability. Because of this, the fan remains stable even at very low speeds, and inductive load handling becomes clean and reliable. You will also notice an RC snubber across the MOSFET. This protects it from voltage spikes and switching stress. Finally, the power supply section. This circuit does not need a bulky external power supply. Power for the 555 and 4017 is derived directly from the rectified fan supply. A 0.33 microfarad, 400 volt capacitor is used for current limiting. A 10K resistor in parallel safely discharges this capacitor during zero crossings. 
A 1N4007 diode provides polarity protection, and a Zener diode clamps the voltage to 12 volts. A 100 microfarad capacitor smooths the DC for reliable operation. Now let us summarize the full working. When the push button is pressed, the RC network generates one clean pulse. The 4017 advances one step. That selected output feeds a specific control voltage to pin 5 of the 7555. This changes the PWM duty cycle, which controls the MOSFET on time. As a result, the fan speed changes in a smooth, step-by-step -step manner. After the final step, the 4017 resets and the cycle starts again from off. So friends, this is how a simple push button, a CD4017 counter, and a 7555 PWM circuit together create a smooth, stable, and reliable electronic fan regulator. The design avoids triacs, avoids instability, and gives proper PWM control even at low fan speeds. If you like this kind of practical circuit explanation, then please like the video, share it with your electronics friends, and subscribe to the channel for more real-world circuit designs. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.